life is like mathematics in mathematics also we come across many problems and we don't know exactly how to solve them but before you start believe that there is a solution to that problem but how and where to start with that solution see we come across many situations in which we don't know how to start solving a particular situation or a problem have you ever untangled a tangled thread i think surely or a entangled earphone at least for faster results we should start from one end not randomly because when we start from one end it is sure that we can go on increasing the length of the straightened thread and we come to the final outcome no same is true with the any problem to clarify this let's try to solve a puzzle let's try to solve a puzzle so here it is when a group of people started off on a great annual picnic every wagon in the town was pressed into service halfway to the picnic ground 10 wagons broke down so it was necessary for each of the remaining wagons to carry one more person when they started from home it was discovered that 15 more wagons were out of commission so on the return trip there were three persons more in each wagon than when they started out in the morning now who can tell how many people attended the great annual picnic so how to start, solve this problem see i have seen many people they use trial and error method they will say okay consider that this this were the number of wagons and this were the number of people sitting in the uh, each wagon but see this random approach it might take long time to solve and actually it is not like uh, a professional mathematician or say a person who knows a mathemat- knows mathematics well then how exactly we can solve it can't we actually solve it yes we can let's start somewhere what is variable and what is constant in this particular case so if you read the problem again we see that the number of wagons because when they come back when they were going to the picnic some of the wagons broke down then they were coming back few more wagons break down so this this is changing the number of wagons is changing but what is remaining constant then the total number of people see the wagons broke some of the wagons broke down but the people were adjusted so that all the people could travel so then what else is variable again so number of people per wagon is also changing because when few wagons broke down the people from that broken down wagon had to be adjusted in the other wagons so here we get our first variable let's say they started with x wagons and let's say y people were sitting per wagon so in all there were x into y people so total number of people is equal to x into y now what happened next now 10 wagons broke down when they are going to the picnic 10 wagons broke down so total number of wagons is now x minus 10 and then they are saying that each wagon had to carry one more person so per people sitting per wagon is y plus 1 now so now in this case also total number of people becomes x minus 10 number of wagons into x plus 1 people per wagon now when they were coming back 15 more wagons broke down so 15 more means 25 wagons total were uh, decreased from the uh, uh, starting point so now they have x minus 25 wagons and then three people more than the morning were added that means y plus 3 people were sitting per wagon so total number of people in this case will be x minus 25 into y plus 3 but in all these three cases the number of people has to be constant so x into y is equal to x minus 10 into y plus 1 is equal to x minus 25 into y plus 3 so, so we get this equation now in this equation let's equate the first two expressions and if i equate the first two expressions we get equation xy is equal to and xy plus x minus 10y minus 10 and we get first linear equation x minus 10y is equal to 10 similarly if we equate first expression to the last expression we get the equation 3x minus 25y is equal to 75 now these are two linear equations in two variables x and y we can solve this okay so we will make this equation 1 this as equation 2 now 3 into equation 1 will give us this 
3x minus 30y is equal to 30. The second equation is 3x minus 25y is equal to 75. I subtract this second equation from 3 into first equation. So if I subtract, this will be the signs and we get minus 5y is equal to minus 45. So y must be equal to 9. That means the number of people sitting per wagon is equal to 9. Now, x is equal to 10 plus 10y. We can take this from equation 1 and we get x is equal to 100. So, we have the number of people per wagon is equal to 9 and total number of wagons is equal to 100. So, total number of people, total number of people traveling, it was equal to 900. That is 9 into 100 is equal to 900. Is our answer correct? We have solved the problem, but is our answer correct? Can we check this? Yes, we can. Let's consider that uh, every we had 100 uh, wagons and in every wagon we had 9 people so we have 900 people to start with then when 10 wagons were broken down so we have uh, 90 wagons and 10 people per wagon we have 900 people again then we have uh, 3 more people that is 12 people per wagon and 75 wagons because 25 broke down and again we have 900 that means our solution is right so do you want to solve one more problem okay I think we can solve one more problem. Consider this. In a small town, there are three temples in a row and a well in front of each temple. A pilgrim came to the town with certain number of flowers. Before entering the first temple, he washed all the flowers he had with the water of the, of the well. To his surprise, flowers doubled. He offered few flowers to the god in the first temple and moved to the second temple. Here also, before entering the temple, he washed the remaining flowers with the water of the well. And again his flowers doubled. He offered few flowers to the god in the second temple, moved on to the third. Here also his flowers doubled. After washing them with water, he offered few flowers to the god in the third temple. There were no flowers left with the pilgrim. When pilgrim came out of the third temple and he offered same number of the flowers to the god in all three temples, what is the minimum number of flowers the pilgrim had initially? How many flowers did he offer to each god? Can you solve this problem? Now again, there are three temples in a row. We should read the problem again carefully. We, there are three temples in a row and he had offered, he came with certain number of flowers and offered uh, flowers to each temple. But each time he washed the flowers with the water of the well, the number of flowers got doubled. So these are the few points you should take into consideration before we go on solving the problem. So where to start actually? Where should we start? So, do you want to start guessing? I think surely not. Guessing is not the uh, final way out. Actually, initially we should start with some variable. So, let's start with our friend Mr. X, the variable X. So, the pilgrim started with certain number of flowers. Consider that he started with X number of flowers say x so he started with x number of flowers now he went to the well first and then washed the flowers and the number of flowers doubled so his number of flowers became 2x then he offered some flowers to some temple now it is not uh, given that there is some relation between x and y so we take another variable y that he offered y number of flowers so the flowers left with him it is 2x minus y now because y flowers are given out of 2x. Now again he went to the next temple. So number of flowers again doubled. So that is 2 into 2x minus y which is 4x minus 2y. Now in the next temple he again gave y number of flowers. It is said that he is going to offer same number of flowers in each temple. So after offering y flowers again he has 4, 4x minus 2y minus y which is equal to 4x minus 3y flowers with him. He went to another well and washed it again. So again the number of flowers got doubled. So it is twice of 4x minus 3y. It is 8x minus 6y. He went with 8x minus 6y and offered the flowers to the final temple. So that is again number of flowers remaining is 8x minus 6y minus y which is, which is 8x minus 7y. But now it is given that when he came out of the third temple, no flowers were left. That means the number of flowers left is equal to 0. So we have 8x minus 7y is equal to 0. So 8x is equal to 
7 y. So we have x upon y is equal to 7 by 8 or we can take that is equal to 14 by 16. We can take that is equal to 21 by 24. Actually, we cannot, we, we could have actually taken minus 7 upon minus 8, but number of flowers cannot be negative. At the same time, we, I could have taken uh, 3.5 upon 4, but the number of flowers cannot be fractional as we can consider here. Now, these are, there are many solutions. Like he, he started with either uh, 7 flowers, uh, and offered 8 flowers in each temple or started with 14 flowers and offered 16 flowers in each temple. So we have infinite number of solutions in this proportion. But then, then the question was what is the minimum number of flowers that Philip Pilgrim had initially. So the, if we are talking about the minimum number, I think the answer is 7. So he started with 7 flowers initially and then offered 8 flowers to each temple. So again. So we have solved this problem now. So let's try to check the answer. So let's say he started with 7 flowers. Flowers doubled, it became 14. He offered 8 flowers, so 6 are remaining now with him. Now this 6 flower were doubled again due to the washing with water. Now it is 12, so he, has, he again offered 8, so 4 are remaining. Now this 4 were washed again and it doubled, it became 8 and then this 8 were offered again in the last temple and yes, 0 flowers are remaining, that means our solution is correct. So be confident, whenever you are going to solve a problem, be confident and you, con you can solve every, every problem like a pro. You need not go on guessing the answers like, okay, consider that he started with this flower, that flower. You should not take numbers. You can start with a variable and then go on applying the conditions and reach the answer. Let's keep learning together. Thanks for watching.